many years ago, I was invited to go on a backpacking trip in the Eagle's Nest Wilderness, which is about 90 miles west of Denver. And I was uh, a college student from the University of Nebraska, very much a flatlander. Myself and several friends traveled out to this area, this rugged beauty in the mountains. And uh, they somehow allowed me to be the navigator of that entire backpacking trip, which is crazy because I'd never done that before. So I had the compass, I had the map, and I'm trying to figure out how to get us from point A to point B. And one of the things that I realized on the second day uh, was that I wasn't actually very good at this. I recognized that the second day was going to be the most challenging day because it was the day where we traversed a long ridge about two miles across the top of this mountain range, the uh, very near the Never Summer Range. And one of the uh, challenges we faced was we had to hike all the way up to the top of the ridge, across the ridge, and then down the ridge. And we knew this whole day was going to be about 10 to 11 miles, which is really, really extreme when you're carrying everything you have with you on your back. We made it up and over the ridge, getting off before about two o'clock, which is good because we were afraid of thunderstorms rolling in. Nobody wanted to die by lightning strike that day. And we made it down and we started heading down the mountain. As we're coming down the mountain, I'm navigating us and I've got the map, I've got my compass, so I'm tracking where I believe that we're at. And I know we're supposed to be going down in elevation into the south. And what I started to recognize after about 45 minutes was that we had turned to the north and we were going up in elevation just slightly. Now on the map, there was this small bump where we shouldn't have turned north and we should have been going up in elevation. But after about 45 minutes of going down this route, I realized we're not on the right trail. And I had to turn to the group and say, we're not going the right direction. We gotta figure out what we need to do in order to get back. And we ended up having to hike back that 45 minutes and realize that I had missed the trailhead in my navigation by about 30 yards. So by missing that 30 yards, it ended up extending that day in really, really significant ways. Not only did we hike farther, what we ended up getting to what we thought was going to be our campsite was actually a swamp. It was late at night already. We'd been hiking for 14 hours. We ended up having to hike for an additional hour to find a place where we could even pitch camp and find some water that we could uh, purify to drink. But on the morning after, when we woke up, we found the most beautiful view of this beautiful lake and uh, the eagle's nest peak in the background of it and it was spectacular what i realized is if you don't know where you're at it's really really difficult to get where you need to go this summer when craig miller our president invited me to become the senior director of mission partner development one of the things i recognized was i don't really know where we're at and i've looked uh, with my team and with all of our departments here at the denver support center to identify as best we can where we're at. And I've got all the numbers and I've got all the things that we're looking to do uh, to achieve these goals that Craig and I have set out to achieve on behalf of you. But I recognize there's a significant way in which I don't really know where we're at, which is why I need your help. We've partnered with Support Raising Solutions. You're familiar with them from the SRS Bootcamp in order to do an in-depth audit of our mission partner development, not only of the results that we're receiving, but also of the attitudes, the policies, the procedures that we make use of in order to achieve those results, which is where you come into play. You're out there week in, week out, doing your MPD, hopefully doing your MPD, and finding that God is blessing you in that. But maybe some of you are really struggling, and I need to know and understand, really, where are you at in regards to these things, and how can we ultimately find the right path? Because while I know the destination that we want to achieve, I don't know exactly where we're at. So please, on February 10th, you should receive in in your inbox a survey from Support Raising Solutions in order to help us to understand some of these things. I've gone through the survey personally twice. Uh, It's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes, depending upon how much you write. And there's going to be just a few minutes of prep in advance of that so that you know where you're at with a couple of particular things in regards to MPD. Uh, One of those things that I'm going to ask is included in this pilot a how to determine the size of your average monthly gift. Uh, Please follow through this how-to guide if you don't already know what your average monthly gift is and identify of the gifts that you receive on a monthly basis, what is the average of those gifts. This is gonna help us to determine whether or not we're uh, we're coaching and teaching and leading you appropriately when it comes to the elements of mission partner development as we pursue this really spectacular future. Now, that morning that we woke up and I crawled out of my tent exhausted, my feet swollen, my back hurting, 
uh, the view that I saw was unbelievable and unforgettable. I still think about it almost every single day as I drive to the Denver Support Center and come into the mountains. And that's what we're really hoping to achieve with Mission Partner Development as we move towards the future. The goals that Craig set out for me are really audacious and very, very significant. Number one, we want to really focus on how do we engage our mission partners in mission. We want our mission partners, our first goal is to help our mission partners to be able to say, of focus. Of all the things that I support, no one makes me feel more loved and cared for than focus does. Secondly, we want our mission partners to be able to say, of all the things uh, that I support, no one engages me more deeply in the mission than focus does. And then third, and I think in many ways much more critical is we want to help you and each individual missionary support team improve by 25% in the coming years to really get ourselves to the place where we're dedicated to mission. We're enabled to, we're helping you to bring more people into that mission through uh, mission partner development and to receive what you need in order to advance spiritual multiplication in your life and on your campus. So please, on February 10th, look for those specific, uh, that, that survey. If you don't see it, please check your spam. We'll try to send out another message to remind you of that. It'll be open for about uh, 10 to 14 days, and then we're gonna move on and we're gonna begin making significant decisions about the direction and the activity that we're gonna provide for you. I'll also follow up with you at the end of that uh, survey period to just let you know about some of the immediate interventions that we're all gonna make in order to support you and your mission partners in uh, advancing the mission. Uh, may God bless you and have a great day.